Okay. Hey, Candace, we can't hear you. I think she muted us all. Candace, we can't hear you. <laughs> Okay, or anything. That button. Else? Sorry. Oh, there you go. My bad. I'm telling about career conference. Thank God Jen is checking your phone. <laughs> I have not checked my phone. Um, can you guys hear me now? Give me thumbs up. Okay, awesome. Thanks for hanging out, even though you saw me moving a lot. <laughs> I was telling them they all need to go to career conference. It'll rock your world. I think all of you are going. Woo! Now you understand what I'm saying. Okay, go to career conference if you have more questions. We'll talk later. Um, a couple other, a couple other things is uh, you guys probably saw my calendar for the month. I know a lot of some of you are coming from Denver and Pueblo and um, the Springs. 
I want to make sure you guys know in Pueblo, my Pueblo chicks, I added two other facials, two Thursday nights, and then of course Saturdays at two. I want to be working for you. And if here's the deal, if you can get me in front of five to 10 people, I will drive, I will come to you no matter where you are, okay? Even if it's not during an event, because I want to be in front of people, because we are building the first million dollar unit in Colorado, <laughs> Woo! and um, we, need, we need massive growth, just like we, we had last month. And um, so what else am I going to say? Da, 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 da. Oh, and then, okay, another big thing that hopefully you saw is those of you that are local in Colorado, Jamie, my mentor from um, Florida, she's going to be at Career Conference, another reason to go to Career Conference, and she's putting on a huge guest event the Thursday night before Career Conference starts, okay? Going to be huge. You're going to want to get people there. These are one of those events where, like, they people go up in drones of people signing up, and you're like, I wish I would have brought a guest, and so bring a guest but come to stay hear her story. So it's the 23rd, it's in Denver, it's gonna rock your world. Okay, the, the, this is another big announcement that I do wanna share with you guys. As you may have seen this on Facebook, are you guys all plugged in with our Facebook page? If you're not, definitely reach out to me. I wanna move people up this month. Hopefully you see our board here, and for those of you who can't um, see, um, we're all about the ultimate unit. I want us to be building seniors and reds. During our recognition, we talked about um, we, we talked about the marketing plan. I want you guys moving up. I'm looking for people who want to move up or leaders who want more out of their businesses. And so I'm doing a special training for those of you that are ready to move up. And you have to earn it because it's one thing to say, oh, yeah, Candice, I want that. It's another thing to back it up. You're going to get to hear from another top director. You guys have never heard from her before. She'll rock your world. She's doing a special training on the 15th. And um, it, it will be online, so it's going to be everyone can join, and it will be recorded. But you only can 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 listen to it if you have one new team member or you move up a level in the career path between now and March fifteenth. And so to back that, I just issued a challenge of um, I just issued a challenge that when you share the business with five people between yesterday and the fifteenth, you are going to get a free color item for you. Okay, here's why I did that, because I guarantee not all of you are using all Mary Kay, remember? And I want you to try some new product for you and not have it cost you, because one of the reasons people don't try the products for themselves is because they, oh, I don't want to take out my inventory, I want to sell that. No, 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 no. That is one of the worst things you can do. One of the best things you can do and the smartest things you can do is start using it for yourself, because I guarantee you'll sell 10 times more if you're using this stuff. Because it works. And you know, think about it. If you find a great hair salon, it's a great hair salon. Do not like tell everyone about it because you're excited. So you get a, get, a, get a color item for you when you share with five people. They can watch my video, they can come to an event, or they can do a three-way 15-minute call. Got it? Okay. I want you guys earning this, this training. It's going to be powerful. Okay? Um, any questions about that? Dun, dun, dun. Um, the, I think this is the last announcement is... Um, uh, our goals this month, you guys probably saw, we have big goals. Um, our goal is to finish million and to stay on track for million. Our goal is to do 50, 40, 30. Last month, um, I did a cash drawing for $500 cash. And by the way, I have checks in my hand for the ladies that won them. And I did a drawing for $500 cash. And, um, you got an entry for every order that you placed, and we hit our goal. And so, where is Miss um, Charlotte and Natalie and Erin? Stand up real quick, and I'll come give you your check. Woo! 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 And go give Erin her check. So, I did five $100 drawings. And then, um, I know Miss Sarah, she's watching. She won our bracelet challenge, too, because we had... We had 34 bracelet winners last month. So that I do need to that I do need to recognize real quick. If you earned your gorgeous bracelet last month, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous store thing, it means you ordered 600 or more in the month. Stand up. Where are you at? Woo! I know several of you earned it. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Um, you got our gorgeous bracelets. So you guys can go ahead and sit down. But our goal this month is to have 40 bracelet winners. 40. And we're going to talk about lots of ways um, to do that um, throughout the month. So anytime I talk about ordering, I want you guys to know that initially as a new consultant, yes, a lot of you invest in inventory. Most people do if they want to start their business off right. But from then on, anytime we talk about ordering, I want to come in from your sales, right? Um, I want you, so all the things, so just know when I talk about ordering, I want you backing up with sales, you know? Leah, we did a challenge for mascaras and she sold $450 in like what, a 24-hour period, like two days? Yes. Right. Yeah. 
And I'm just saying that there's lots of ways to make money. So, um, so our goals this month is I'm giving away, I have the Annie, I'm giving away a thousand dollars cash. Are you excited? Are you excited? Can anyone get excited about a thousand dollars cash? Okay. So we have to reach our goal and how we reach our goal is we do 50, 40, 30. It's pretty simple. 50,000 wholesale. So every single order you place is going to count. And, um, the more orders you place, the more entries you get for every $200 order you place, you get one entry. Um, 40 bracelet winners so you can get um you get three entries by earning your bracelet so three additional entries besides the ordering entry right so if you order 600 this month you're getting six entries into that thousand dollar cash drawing do you understand uh very simple and then um 30 new agreements our goal is to have 30 new agreements so 50 40 30 when we reach those things i'm doing a drawing for a thousand dollars cash who likes to win who feels okay so put in the effort. We're totally going to happen. Or it's totally going to happen. I'm excited about our growth. We've got lots of great things going on and great momentum happening. Okay. I think that's all the announcements. Anyone have any questions about all that? Got all that? Okay. So what I'm going to talk about is um, I want you to grab some, a pen and paper because you guys can sit and stare at me all day long and tune out. But I know that if you write it down, Mary Kay Ash always said that if you don't have paper, um, borrow some from your friend. She's got a whole notebook back there. Shannon's got a whole notebook. Um, and I want you writing down. Mary Kay always said that the faintest ink is better than the most retentive memory. Oh, I lied. There's one more announcement. Laura, will you bring me those Girlfriends Consistency Club things? Thank you. I lied. There's one more announcement. And then while y'all are getting paper, uh, you can listen. I have something that... You guys probably haven't seen this in a long time, and it has been a promotion that I've done for a long time, but um, I haven't brought it up in, in a long time. If you want to move up in your business, this guy right here will help you get anywhere you want to go. You know, if you want to, um, the key to Mary Kay is to work at full circle, and that means you're selling the product, and then you're also sharing the business opportunity. Girlfriend's Consistency, does this look familiar? Um, I talk about it in New Consultant Training, and this is a way to track your success. As a new consultant, one of the first goals I give you is to do 30 practice spaces, right? Um, but from then on, if you wanna build consistency in your business, you still wanna be in front of faces, but you wanna be working at full circle. And so um, we have these those gorgeous charms over there. Um, they've been sitting there for a while and no one's touched them because they probably haven't known what to do with them. But the first time you do it, you get a charm bracelet. See them right there? Leslie, will you pick that up and show them? And then that whole thing is filled with charms. Okay, I'm gonna let the, the people online see because I'm gonna turn it around. They can see it's gorgeous. <laughs> lots and lots of charms. So basically you can build this gorgeous charm bracelet. And the first month that you do it, when you do, okay, so you fill in one column, you get one charm and a bracelet the first time you do it. So, and this is not retroactive, it starts now. Okay, because, um, I, I, yes, I know, I know. Yeah, I can, I can see your brain picking. I'm like, no, no, no. I want it starting now um, because I haven't really talked about it even though I've had it around for a long time. So 10 bases, you share the business with five people in a month, the entire month, you get a charm bracelet and then your first charm. When you do 20 bases or you share with 20 people or um, 10 people in the month, you get your second charm. So, and then you, when you do 30 bases in the month that you share with 15 people in the month, you get three charms and your bracelet first time you get. Got it? Simple, simple, simple. You got to track it and know about it. Okay. That was my last announcement. I promise I'll get on to training. Okay. What I'm going to train on tonight is... Um, Nita just happened to mention this and didn't even know this, but I'm going to train on, on finishing your star. Okay. And if you are already a star, um, I want you to, I want you, for you, don't tune me out. I want you to think about moving up a level, another level, um, by the end of the quarter. So I just posted today that our star quarter ends March 15th and I'll explain it really quickly for those of you, um, that, that are new is, our system runs on a quarter system, okay? So December uh, 15th or December 16th to March 15th is a quarter. Over the quarter, um, however much you've ordered for the quarter is what I'm talking about right now. So if you don't know your number, talk to me. I can talk. To, I can figure it out. But um, no matter how much you've ordered for the quarter, even if you have zero dollars in, you can be a star with some of these ideas I'm going to give you, okay? Now, why would you want to be a star? Okay, first of all, a star is when you order 1,800 wholesale over the quarter. So your cumulative orders from March, um, or from December 16th to March 15th um, are 1,800 wholesale. Now, some of you in the room just ordered inventory last month. This applies to you too, because you can move up a level. 
okay? If you came in at 1,800, which I know several of you in the room did, you can move up to a Ruby level, which is um, uh, 2,400 or more. So you sell 600 in the next week and you bump up, you bump up to a 2,400 and bump up to a Ruby. There's gorgeous prizes over there on the wall. Those are the prizes that you get for this quarter. This is not a cumulative, like whatever you finish at this month or this quarter, doesn't start or it starts all over March 16th okay so it's definitely worth the push now why would you want to be a star shout it out why would why would they want to be a star shout really loud so they can hear you because you get on the uh, search engine online so when they search for Mary Kay rep the, in their area your name and profile and stuff will pop up yeah that is that that's a big one right there is you get entered into the search engine for Mary Kay okay so that means you get free customers and then in this area we get lots of free customers what else are the what else are the rewards why would you want to be a star yes if you have any desire to become a director and go into DIQ you do have to be a star this quarter if you want to submit um, directorship um, anytime the next three months you have to be a star this quarter what else what else Stars earn cars. This program, Nita said this without even knowing that I was training on this tonight. The star program is one of the most important programs in Mary Kay because it rewards consistency. That right now, the company is doing um, the bracelet challenge because if you order 600 wholesale each month, you stay on track for star, okay? Um, one of the other things is you get one of those gorgeous prizes, right? You get one of those gorgeous prizes. But, um, and then the other thing is at that level, you usually have inventory. And what does inventory offer you? More sales, instant gratification. You're able to, I don't know, but for me, just having that inventory motivates me. Because I see it, I'm like, I gotta go talk to some people, right? <laughs> because I, have, I have, have that product. You make more money. As a star, you make more money. It's been proven you make more money. Um, you're also, like I think for, for me, anytime I talk about these things, is it's just a feeling of accomplishment. That feeling of accomplishment is all those other things are great, but the pride that you have knowing that you went from zero to 1800 is awesome. I have to brag on Miss Laura over here. I don't, I don't know if she remembers this, but I share this story all the time. I hope it's true because I thought it was true. I just been a long time. As a brand new consultant, she came in and sold $1,800 the first week, 12 days. She, um, I, I don't know if this is true, but I'm making it up. This is what I tell people. So she didn't have, <laughs> she didn't have, she didn't invest in products. She didn't have the resources to invest in it, but she sold it. She sold $1,800 in 12 freaking days. So we have a little bit less than that, but if Laura can do it, I brought it all the time, by the way. And just so you know, I, I tell people that, cause I think that, that that's awesome that it's possible. Okay, if you can invest in inventory, that, that's always easiest. But these are, no matter where you're at, you could go from zero to 1800 literally within a week. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some ideas. And, and if you're already a star, then I want you to be thinking about, don't check me out, don't you not remember, I want you to know how can you move up a level? That's what I want to be the win for you, is how can you move up a level in this next week, okay? Some of you, your, your product just showed up, or maybe your product isn't even here yet. You could still sell. 600 um, in the next week. So, couple ideas. I want you all to throw it out. We have some seasoned consultants in the room. What are some of your favorite ways, first of all, to how would you sell $600 in the next week? So you have to have this order in by March 15th. Call your customers. What'd you say? 24. Uh, what'd you say, Pam? Call your customers. Call your customers. What would you say to these customers? Can you come over here? Come over here, Pam. You come over here. <laughs> okay, Pam, go for it, Pam. What would you say? Girl, I know it's been a while since we talked, but you know, I have a, a huge goal and I need your help. And I know you can help me out. What is it that um, you have ran out of or want to try new? Cool. It's that simple. It's that simple. All right. Good job, Pam. Who else? Who else? I know we have some seasoned people. Autumn. 24, 24, 24. Tell them about that. And basically, it's where you sell 24 items to 24 people in 24 hours. And so it can be anything like um, eye makeup remover and mascara or 10 hands or somewhere in that price range. So mm -hmm. it's more items. Do you offer any gift when they when you hit your 24, 24, 24? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know. Like, you guys know. get to choose. You guys get to choose if you want to. If, if you want to. Yeah. Um, color item or um, like or sometimes all well, the cell phone 
sometimes I give away like a free order if mm -hmm. I get if I reach my goal and yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, a lot of times I'll do that. Like if they say your goal is to do 24, 24, 24, and when you reach your goal, when we, so that way it's encouraging them to maybe spread the word to other people, then I'll give away someone's order for free or someone's order at half off. Okay. Um, what else? What are some of the ideas? Start, start certificate. Ooh, tell them about that. Where Can we see Ms. Mariah? Speak loud. Five dollars with the product for a hundred, so they get a certificate. So we can either do it now or later. Give it to their wife as a gift certificate and use it later. So, yeah, all you need is 18. Yeah, so th th this is what that looks like in case you can't see. But you could sell these. So, exactly what Mariah was talking about, I'll pass this around, I'll email it out and post on Facebook. Um, but sorry, guys, we're trying to be good about keeping y'all in the loop out there. Um, so those they give you a hundred dollars and it's worth 125 in product. Does that make sense? So they're giving you the cash, um, so you have that money to place the order. But when um, you meet with them, it's it's redeemable for one twenty five. Does that make sense? So, like she said, you only have to sell eighteen. You only have to sell eighteen of them. Or let's say, well, you, first of all, you need to figure out what your number is and where where you're at. Maybe you only need four. Maybe you only need five. Maybe you only need six. Maybe you need ten. I don't know what your number is. Know what your number is. Set a goal and then start um, just asking. You could also do half of that. You could say you sell $50 gift certificates and they're redeemable for 60 or 65, but you're getting the cash. Does that make sense? And then someone would give that as a gift. Like this is great to contact moms to maybe give as a gift to their kids, um, their teenage daughter, or contact men to give to their women. And then you don't have to pick the product. Um, they'll redeem it when they get together with you. Does that make sense? Got it? That's a very, very simple, quick way you can make some, some, some quick, quick, quick money. I see a question? Any more, any more, um, any more star ideas? Okay, you could do something like um, Leah did with uh, like the mascara thing. You know, that was a challenge that I offered to sell um, 25 mascaras in a 24 hour period. You know, here's the deal is you gotta just pick something and get excited about it. Here's the number one most important thing is you gotta be excited about it. If you're not excited, you might as well not even try because it's not going to happen. You have got to be excited about this, about whatever your challenge is because that feeling of accomplishment. So first of all, I want you to ask yourself, why would I even try and sell that? No, no for yourself. You don't have to say it out loud. But you've got to have something that drives you so that you're motivated because guess what? You're going to get no's. Leah, um, I love, I think, um, I'm just going to share for you so that they can hear you, but she asked a ton of people, people completely outside of her comfort zone, people that didn't even like her. Like there was a lady that they weren't even friends. They didn't even like her. And she was one of her last sales and maybe a new team member. And, um, and so you just never know. She's good. She's good. There's someone who didn't even like her. <laughs> and now they're friends. But she also, they didn't think they were friends, but she really did like it's a whole long story. But <laughs> the whole point is that you got to just ask, okay? And when you have a goal, she had to ask a ton of people. How many people do you think you asked? <laughs> now let them close. And then, consultants, if you have a guest in the other room, I want you to close the sale and I'll be in there in five minutes. All right, go ahead. 40 plus maybe, at least. I mean, she had to ask 40 plus to get 20. To get 20 people and you're just messing. So you're going to get no's is all I'm saying. You're going to get no's and you're going to get lots of them that you have to know why you're doing it. You have to be excited about your goal because you're going to get no's, right? And so, um, so here's a couple other things, a couple other things you could do. You could go demo set hands on 30 people. Go demo set in hands on 30 people. I guarantee you'll probably sell 10 to 15 of them. Maybe run a sale on set in hands. You know, hey, I'm demoing it. I'm in a challenge. Will you just try me this and give me your opinion? And then tell them after they try and say, oh, my God, my hands are amazing. Then you um, say, yeah, I'm offering, I don't know, 10% off of set in hands. Whatever. And set a goal to sell them. Set in hands is such an easy sell, you guys. You do the same thing with satin lips. You do the same thing with any of our products. One of those things that you see instant gratification. The best way you can do is get, obviously, facials and skincare parties. And so invite people to the Saturday events and anything. Um, we have Monday night facials. And um, for the Pueblo people, we have, you know, Saturday facials. And so anything that happens, you know, get people to actually sit down and do a facial. That's the best thing. Here's another fun thing. You guys writing these down because I hope that you're excited and not tuning me out. Because seriously, there's a ways to make quick money. Um, what? 
No, we already fixed it. Okay. We're good now. Um, <laughs> challenge three friends to sell $100 each and reward them with a lunch date on you when they complete their goal. That's fun. Get them actually working for you. Did you guys all hear that? Have three friends. We're good on sound now, just to be clear, right? Okay. Sorry, sorry she texted me saying. Um, okay, so challenge three friends to sell $100 for you. When they, when they reach their goal, you take them to lunch. Costs you, you know, super cheap and it's, you're going to connect with your new friend. And what happens is she's going to expose you to different people. Maybe she takes the catalog um, to her work and sells, you know, $10 of this person, $50 of this person. And then you contact them and you contact them. I don't give the sales to my suit. Let's say I call Susie Q and say, Susie Q, will you help me with my goal? Here's my deal. Sell $100. I'll take you to lunch. Susie Q brings me her people. I'm not giving the product to Susie Q. I'm getting the names and numbers of her people and I'm reaching out to them and I'm saying, hey Natalie, I see that you wrote down, that, that you purchased some stuff for me. Thank you so much. When can I come deliver it? I'm gonna deliver it to her and I'm gonna book a facial with her. That Susie Q just introduced me to Natalie. Does that make sense? That this is a way for you to get new leads as well. You can do a mascara thon where also the same type of thing where you either you pick an amount or maybe you say, Hey, Susie Q, I'll give you your mascara for free if you go sell 10 mascaras for me. Same thing. Is she is going to get excited because she gets her mascara for free, and she's going to go get you 10 new mascara clients, and those are all 10 new clients that you better believe you get their name and number, and you contact them and do a facial. All right? So not only is it going to be a sale, it's going to be a way for you to get new um, leads as well. These things work, you guys, but you got to get excited about it and then go tell everybody. Don't just tell one person, and don't just text them. Call them. Voices, 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 people. Um, because they can't hear your excitement and your enthusiasm over text as much, okay? That it's so much better when you see them. Next time you're at class with them or at work, you say, I have this huge challenge. Oh my God, I'm trying to reach this big goal. Can you help me out? People want to help you, but you've got to let them know how they can help you. And it's a win-win because they're going to get something out of it and it helps you, right? Um, of course, the 24, 24, 24. Um, uh, the, 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 let's see, contact husbands and significant others, and maybe you offer something early for Mother's Day or for whatever's coming up. What are we in March? I don't know. Maybe St. Patty's Day. Offer St. Patty gifts. I don't know. Whatever. You make up some reason to give them a gift. Maybe it's a just because gift because every woman needs a just because gift, right? Um, just because she's awesome and maybe he's in trouble. You do not know. <laughs> you don't know. He'll go buy her flowers that will die, but he could buy you uh, buy her like satin lips or an eye gel that um, is something that will last, okay? <laughs> um, so you make things up. I make things up all the time. Here's another thing that you could do is pick a product and run a sale on it. Um, some of my, sale. the what? Flash sale. A flash sale. That's really <laughs> great. Pick a product. If you have a Facebook page or whatever, maybe each day of the week you pick a product and you do a flash sale on it. Maybe you say, hey, here's, you go do your own research. It'll get you used to other products. And you say, like, tonight you're going to hear from Jana about a really cool product. But let's say you um, run a flash sale on the Extra Million Eye Cream or on some great product that's really great for really, really, really dry skin. And you tell them a little blurb about it. Tell them what it does. And say, yeah, I'm offering a 10% off or something. It's a way to move product quickly. All right? The best way we can sell is face-to-face. -face, but you can do all of these things um, um, on the go. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Of course, what? Oh, that's a great idea. Did you guys hear that? A spring cleaning sale. That was brilliant. So Lord knows everyone needs some spring cleaning, especially with their makeup, okay? Um, that maybe they, you could even say something like, hey, turn in five items to me the trash it, have them come trash their, trash their um, old makeup and skincare, and, um, and then maybe you give them, I'm making sure these people are muted, and then maybe you give them 10% um, off their order with Mary Kay. Does that make sense? You can, I make up stuff all the time, but I love the idea, it, it's just about having an idea that when you want it, you will find ways, you will find ways um, to, to make it happen. All right, there we go, now I finally got muted. Okay, what else, what other cool ideas? So a simple one for me is just, making sure I talk to everybody and everybody everywhere I go. Yes. Because my cereal lady is still my, my best one. Okay, stand up and come tell them the cereal story. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, um, do you want me to, I can give you the short version, but I want them to hear from you. All right, all right, all right. Y'all need to hear the story. It's, it's pretty good. There's people everywhere. And this girl's the master. Um, go for it. Okay, so um, I basically just made conversation with the lady at Walmart in the cereal aisle. I was already there doing grocery shopping and was um, giving out my cards and getting numbers. And um, 
I talked to her husband first because she was on the phone and she was my target and I wasn't going to give up and um, got him on board and got him brownie points by um, saying I was going to offer her a free facial and by the time she came over and she was looking at me all funny because I'm talking to her husband and um, so she comes over and I explain everything and she wanted to do a facial. She did it the very next day and I walked out with a thousand dollars sale. So, Next day, a thousand dollars, people. And he was excited because um, he, it was like he got it for her because he made conversation mm -hmm. with me. Um, so she got his permission. He got brownie points. I got a sale. It's a win-win. Win -win. <laughs> it's awesome. Woo! Give her a round of applause. Okay, that was fun. Lame round of applause. But uh, that, there's people everywhere. That there's people everywhere. And Lee is a perfect example. She is extremely busy, but she's constantly bringing people that she met at the bowling alley, that she met at school that she met at work and I'm like where's this person from it's like I don't know I talked to them today and they're here you know she literally will talk to them that morning in class and they come to the facial that night like it's happened multiple times so don't think that it has to take a long time to get together with people I think sometimes last minute is best sometimes last minute is best yeah exactly because sometimes if you book someone like First of all, if you book them more than two weeks out, you're shooting yourself in the, the foot, typically, because most of the time they're going to cancel because they just, life happens. That you can book them in the next 24 hours, you know, but there's people everywhere. There's literally people in the cereal aisle at Walmart that you could book somebody and then um, book them for, for the next day. So, um, but the key is how bad do you want to make sales? How bad if you have product, how bad do you want to move it? Um, if you want to be a star, how bad do you want to do it? Because you'll be willing to do these things when you want it badly enough. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, how badly do I want it? What will this do for my family, you know, to sell 600, 1800, like Laura does. I mean, I brag about Laura all the time. She literally sold $1,800 in 12 days. So no matter how much you have in, you just keep asking. And a lot of that was like, what, coworker, any tips you want to tell us from the day that you did that? The time you do that? Um, yeah. Come over here. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so all I knew was that it was a big deal to be a star. My director was like, you have to be a star. I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? She said 1,800. And, oh, I couldn't get any inventory at the time. And so literally, I just talked to everybody. Oh, my gosh, we ever tried Mary Kay? Oh, yeah. Coworkers, every single person I met. So it was like satin hands and somebody who tried Mary Kay years ago and needed a new skincare set. And, um, and then I also, in talking to somebody, ran into somebody that supported the um, Soldiers Angels Foundation, mm -hmm. where they send like satin hands and satin lips overseas to the soldiers. And I was like, all right. So then I put that out there. I'm like, hey, I'm doing sets for soldiers. And that's it. Done. Yeah, it's done. That's awesome. Yeah, that's Good okay. job, Laura. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, one last thing that I will tell you, and then I got to go, and then we're going to do a little product preview with uh, Jana. So one last thing that I think is, is going to help you make a lot of sales quickly as well is the 21 day glow and tell challenge. We have not talked about that, but if you can just sell a couple repair sets, OMG, that will be all you need to sell is what nine repair sets and you would have your 1800 done. Um, so glow and tell. Basically, we have four lines that they get to pick from, and the challenge is this 21-day glow and tell challenge, and they buy the skincare from you, maybe you give it to them at some discount, and they pick one of four skincare lines, they try it for 21 days, and at the end of 21 days, if they aren't glowing and want to tell everyone about it, they get their money back. But very rarely, the people after they try it for 21 days um, not want to use it, right? Um, which it doesn't hurt us if anyone ever needs a returning product, by the way. So. Um, so you ask people, tell them, Hey, I need 10 people to be my 21 day glow and tell challenge people. And you can pick one of our four skincare lines, our four skincare lines, just recap for the new people. We have our miracle set, which is our most popular one. People for 18 to forties who want, are going to fight the early signs of aging, our repair set, which is for people in their forties and beyond. Show them some pictures. I posted a bunch of JPEGs at the end of the month, last month. Um, our botanical line, which is for people with more natural or want something more natural, more um, sensitive skin, and our acne line. And so you basically say, all right, will you try one of these four and be a guinea pig for me? You guys are new. A lot of you are new. You say, be honest and say, hey, I just want to see if this stuff works. Like, my director tells me it's good stuff, but I want to know, I want your honest opinion. Does this stuff work? And then ask people in those different ranges, ask people in their 40s and beyond, ask them to just try the repair set. You know, ask people who have bad acne and say, hey, I'd love to have you just try this. And they try it for 21 days. Maybe you offer them 20% 20, 20 off or 10% off 
they, they purchase it from you. Maybe you offer it for 10% off. They try it for 21 days, take before and after pictures. And if they don't love it and their skin isn't glowing, they can return it. So if you sell a few of those and get a few glow and tell clients, easily can get a good chunk of it out of the way. So get excited and start using these. All right, Jana, come on down. Let's give her a round of applause. She's going to do your product. Make sure that people stay on the and stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll sit down. Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, so what I was going to talk about today is our Volume Firm Deep Wrinkle Filler. How many of you guys have tried it? I know, I love this stuff. So Candace was talking about something where you could see instant results. And this is something that you can just carry in your purse and test it on people's thumbs. And so basically, um, I don't know, let me think of where to start. So let me tell you how it works, okay? So um, most of our repair products contain retinol. This is a supplemental product that you can buy alone. You don't have to buy it in the set. Um, it uh, contains encapsulated hyaluronic acid. And so it's a big long word, but basically what it does is um, you, use the little tip and you put it on your deep wrinkles and then you want to make sure you pat it in. Don't rub it. It has to be patted in. Um, and then what will happen is the hyaluronic acid actually pulls moisture into the wrinkles and it plumps it out. Okay. And so that is like an instant result. It's, it's gone. So once I'm done talking about it, I'm going to pass it around and I want you guys to pat it on one of your thumbs and you'll be able to see mm, once it dries that it has plumped out your thumb wrinkles. So um, it also has long lasting results. If people are using this once or twice a day, um, what happens is this product also contains retinol. And so over time, retinol is gonna reduce the appearance of the, the deep wrinkle as well. So you're getting it from two ends. You're gonna get it from instantly where it's, the hyaluronic acid is gonna plump out the wrinkle and then you're gonna get the long term effect of the retinol, okay? Um, so let me tell you where you're supposed to put this. Okay, so forehead creases, that's the prize look, I have those. Um, between the brow creases, those are my mommy lines, so I have those. Um, crow's feet, don't I have those yet, I don't think. Don't tell me if I do. Um, <laughs> smile lines, people are gonna get parentheses, and then vertical lip lines, a lot of ladies get that from smoking. Stop smoking if you smoke. <laughs> okay, um, and marionette lines, and I don't know what those are. Does anybody? I think those are the, like this. Yeah. Think of one of those. Oh, or maybe it's the ones next to your nose. Yeah, it's like the. I'll look it up. Keep the okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know there either. Um, so, but everybody who has used this, if I can find the thing, claims and benefits, maybe. So, all of the results they did when they did the testing are in the high 90s. So, like, 97% said their makeup applied easily, 96% said their foundation applied easily. 95% um, said it balled up quickly and they did a three week independent test. So um, all I know is it's amazing and when I went to seminar and this first came out, um, it was like the coolest thing ever. So I'm gonna pass it around. You guys are just gonna take a little bit like that and then you're just gonna pat it into your thumb until it kind of disappears and then you're gonna wait for it to dry and you'll know it's dry when it's not sticky anymore, okay? And then you'll just compare your thumbs and you'll get to see. Um, how awesome it is. So these are your like lines, the little parentheses guys. So this is your parentheses. Okay. Like, to your so these are your smile lines, lines and, and then these will be my marionette lines when I get old. Yay. <laughs> how exciting. <laughs> no, because I use the Cadillac repair set, so I'm not going to get lines. But here, go ahead, pass it around, pat it into your thumb wrinkle on one hand, let it dry, and then check it out. Um, and that stuff is $40. Um, you use it once a day, um, but it is going to last um, forever. So, oh, maybe it's 45. Sorry, 45. Just sell it at 40. It's a discount. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you would wash your face, and then whenever you're done washing your face, the way I remember is whatever you want to absorb into your face first is what you should apply first. Oh. So... I would I put on the uh, volume from lifting serum first, and then I pat in the 
a deep, deep wrinkle filler. And then I, you do it the opposite way? I put on the deep wrinkle filler first so it can dry while I put on my liquid serum. Right, see I just like, I feel like for me I've gotten so much more benefit out of the liquid serum, so I'm like, I want this to work. So, as long as you put it on, as long as you put it on before your moisturizer and let it dry. But, one more thing is, you wanna know how I know that stuff works? It's because I use it. And I'm not scared to pull stuff out of my inventory and try it because you don't get passionate about what we do unless you're trying the products that we have. Mm -hmm. And so please pull stuff out of your inventory or try really hard to win stuff. So then you can try it that way too. But it's super important to uh, just be brave and pull stuff out of your inventory and use it so you can get more sales. So yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't use my deep wrinkle crepe. <laughs> 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 Hi, is that your favorite today? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends. Okay. Oh, this is. I'm shorter than Candace. <laughs> Let's go like that. Oh, yay. Okay. Awesome. So I'm a lot shorter than Candace. Um, you can only see me like from here up. I'm a, okay. Anyways. So I know Candace gave you lots and lots and lots of ideas about your star. So raise your hand if you are going to do something to finish star. Okay, everybody's hand should be up right now. <laughs> raise your hand if you're going to do something to your, you have an excuse. Raise your hand if you're going to do something to increase your star level. Yeah, okay. So most of you. Some of you, you'll, you'll find something by the end. Um, so... I'm gonna tell you, and I know that Leah can probably really attest to this, when you're going for something that scares you, it doesn't always look like it's gonna get done. <laughs> 50 minutes into your hour, <laughs> did it look like it was gonna get done? <laughs> not so much, you guys couldn't hear her, she said not so much. Um, I know last month we had a really big audacious goal and I was scared out of my mind. And I know that um, we worked really hard. And I'll tell you, I told you guys last week at meeting, it didn't look like it was gonna happen. The last week of the month, it didn't look like it was gonna happen. It looked like, um, it looked like we were not gonna have even come close to what our previous best month ever was, let alone surpass it when our goal was to double it. And um, so, when you have something like that that you're going for that's huge, I wish that I had literally 12 hours to go with you day by, or not day by day, but like minute by minute what happened on the last day of the month. Because we chose not to give up and because we chose to keep going no matter what, we ended up having 5,000 more than our best month ever, which seems like not that much, okay? To a lot of people, it's like, or I mean, it seems like a lot. I'm sorry, backwards. It seems like a lot, okay? To be like, oh my gosh, I could never do that much in a day. Well, I can tell you, I have never done that in a day. <laughs> never. <laughs> and not to mention that 85% of everything that happened last month, as far as our goals, all happened within the last week of the month but I worked hard from the beginning of the month all the way through the finish. So the star finish, so star finishes on the 16th. So whatever your star goal is, or it finishes on the 15th. So don't stop working till the 16th. I was getting, my brain was ahead of my mouth. Um, <laughs> don't stop working until the 16th on what your 15th goals are. Does that make sense? Like you push through it, not to it. Because anytime, if I'm gonna run to that wall, I'm gonna stop before the wall, and I'm not gonna go through it. But if I'm running fast enough, I might just go right through it. But um, the whole point is to <laughs> not slow down, because it doesn't look like it's happening, but to keep going. Because I know I did the mascara thing, and I just needed, like, I was like, Oh my gosh, my month is not going the way I wanted to. I need a small goal, small, compact, tiny little goal to do right now. And I did the mascara thing, and I promise you, 35 minutes into it, I was like, ugh, no. <laughs> and I wish I could say I pushed through it. I wish I could, but I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, I did not push through it. 
I sold 17 and I was like, oh, that's good. <laughs> and moved on. Um, but the difference is that Leah went to minute 36. Leah went to minute 37 and 38. And who, those of you who know me know that I am not a night person at all. <laughs> not even a little <laughs> and on the last day of the month this is the first time ever because I had worked so hard all month long and all month long I had no idea how anything was coming together but I had no trouble staying up until 11 none this is the first time in my entire career That's cute. <laughs> I didn't have any but I did I had yeah, okay. So you'll learn, Leah. Um, my son goes to bed at 7, and I go to bed at 8. Gosh, my son goes to bed at 8. I start homework at about 10. I go to bed at about 2. Well, that's why I'm not in school. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, but I'm not a night person, and I know that about myself. And I get up in the morning to do the stuff that I need to do, but I know that I'm not a night person. And so like, I know my strengths and everything. So I just thought it was really interesting that literally I was given that energy because of everything I saw happening, because of all the work I had done all month long. And the reason that I say that for star, it doesn't take all quarter. Like I've had people do it in two or three days. It doesn't take all quarter. You guys have, Oh gosh, I should have thought of this. Nine days, right? It's the sixth. Yeah. So you have nine days. You guys, that's like two hundred dollars a day. That's like a repair set. So I mean, like, what if you had a party and you sold three repair sets? You could take like two whole days off, not sell anything. It'd be fine. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't want you guys to look at it as such like this insurmountable goal because. For me, in my personal, like my personal bubble, there was, Candace always has these really great months, right? Like 20, 30, 40, $50,000. And I'm, that is awesome. How do you get past 10? Mm -hmm. like, how did, like, how do you get past 10? And so for us this month, we had a $10,000 month in February. Um, we had never, ever done seven until January. <laughs> <laughs> so to have everything go that way and continue because we didn't give up, I can't say it enough. Like even when it doesn't look like it's possible, you guys, we had like $2,000 in at the last week of February. Like it was not looking possible at mm -hmm. all. And so to watch everything come together. But here's the thing. When you plant something, you do not get a sprout like – Oh, look, I planted it, I watered it, and oh, wow, I'm now, you know, growing green beans. I don't know. Whatever comes to your mind, I don't know. But um, it has to grow. It has to have time to grow. And when you think about things like potatoes or carrots, you don't even know what's happening until it's way later. So, like, there are so many people that um, – there's so many people in my unit that literally – one, some of them had been consultants before and decided to restart. But had I not asked them, it would have never happened. And some of those people that decided to restart have promoted themselves, have done way more this time around than they did last time. Isn't it cool that we have a company that never really, like, fires you? Like, you can always start again. Um, so like, and you don't have to like get a new consultant number to start again. Like you just don't, you can, you can start again from five minutes ago. <laughs> you can be like, Oh, when I came into meeting, I was going to start next quarter to be a star. Like, okay, cool. So five minutes has passed, start over, pick a star level and go for it. And if you need like a picture, print it offline. Like you can print any of those pictures offline and on your InTouch page. Just go find it, print it, put it somewhere where you can see it so that you know why it's getting freezing cold. Can someone go shut that door, please? Um, <laughs> I, I just watched it open all on its own. Um, yeah, but the wind comes like whoosh. Um, anyways, so 
finishing, finish your star. Like there's no reason to, is he Brinkle filler? Yeah, so I was just asking how it was. I don't think it makes oh, it over okay. here. Oh, I was like, where'd it go? Um, so, that anybody have any questions on anything that either, because I know Candace had, like, she, like, whoop, in there afterwards, and um, Therese. Um, I noticed that there was that monk thing that came out, and you're supposed to do a certain, uh, well, two of the checklist each day. So I I I was kind of hard as to see as to when did that actually started. Like if you were to start, let's say, um, tonight. So, yeah, tonight. Like, are you are you disqualified already? No, no, no. no. Um, her question was about Pink Power Days, and can you start it at any point in the month? Yes, you can absolutely start it at any point in the month. Um, you can do, when you do two, you get a point for being here today, Mariah. I just made a really good point. And you could probably get a point. I think that counts. I don't know if that counts. Talk to Candace. I don't know if that counts. I think it does. I say it counts. Tell her I said it counts. Um, so yeah, you get a point for coming to meetings. And if you listen to the million dollar message on your way home, then today's a pink power day. And if you start on the sixth, you have plenty of time. Um, so yeah, they answer your question? Yes. Yay! Uh, any other questions about finishing star, about anything? I don't know if it's helpful for you guys, but I teach through stories, so I hope that's helpful. <laughs> if not, there's lots of different personality types. He did. He was pretty cool. Um, okay, cool. So... The last thing that I really, 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 really want to tell you, did Candace talk about career conference? Yes. yes. Did she pass around a sign-up sheet? No. <gasps> Break my heart. Okay. So here's the deal with career conference. You cannot sign up on your own anymore. It was over February 28th. But because we love you, you can sign up. Um, just let us know. Let's see. Let me find something that we can write on. Can I steal one of your pieces of paper? Um, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to take a page out. Um, okay, so after our empowering statement, oh, hey, up close and personal. Um, okay, so this is our piece of paper right here. If you want to go to career conference, okay, which you do, all of you do, okay, if you want to go to career conference, which you all do, you're going to put your name on here, um, and then you're going to let Candace know how you're going to pay for it because Candace can – did you have a question, Pam? No, you're going to career conference, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, if you did not – if you already signed up online, do not put your name on this paper because Candace is going to take money from you. Okay. If you already signed up online, then you already paid. So do not sign up on the paper if you already signed up online. And this is a little teacher side of me coming out here. I can't stand the crinkles. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to put your name on here. And, well, she should have everybody's phone number. Uh, put your name and your email address. That's all the number. That. And you can find it, but it's easier if they put it. Your name, consultant number, and your email address. So after empowering statement, you are going to come up here and you're going to write your name, your consultant number, and your email address. If you don't know your consultant number, oh my gosh, just leave a blank. We can find it. Um, but when you write your name, please write your first and last name because now there's a lot of you. <laughs> and I don't know all of you yet. So... Make sure you write your first and last name, please, so it's easier to find you. And now, uh, somebody will take care of that. We'll let you know. We've got to figure out how many people are going first. Yes, ma'am? Should you have a piece of paper going around and saying that you already did it? Do you know how many people that going so far? No, because we can see. Oh. Okay, if you already signed up online, then still write your name and write online. 
Okay, so if you're signing, can you? I don't know how to shut that off. Can you? Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> um, if you yeah. sign up online, write your first and last name and online. If you did not sign up online,